Hi, my name is Diane Cooper. I am one of the co-founders and the CEO of Weather Integrations. One of the things I just love about being the CEO is the opportunity that I get to talk to producers at different conferences and workshops. I recently attended the horticulture industry show in Fayetteville, Arkansas. It truly was a great time of learning and just being able to talk to people. Unfortunately, they had six different tracks, so I was only able to get to a few of the different workshops. But one of the tracks that I focused on was really understanding the challenges with high tunnels. And some takeaways that I pulled from that was because they're not climate controlled like greenhouses, they do have some unique problems that I think we can create some weather action alerts that will improve and help them anticipate weather related challenges with their operations. Again, their temperatures inside heat up more quickly than their external temperatures. So they really do need to be able to open them up and ventilate before they cook their vegetables and berries and fruit. Um, another thing that they use are shade cloths, but some of them are, are manually having to be drawn down. So again, we can create different weather action alerts that would help them be able to anticipate and prepare. Um, another challenge point that um, made sense when they started talking about it, but I didn't think about it initially, was um, the climate in a high tunnel really promotes higher relative humidities. And so just like you need to ventilate for the temperature, you also need to be anticipating your high relative humidities because that actually promotes diseases. So we can really develop out some um, weather action alerts that really focus on those specific concerns from a disease standpoint. Another thought that we had, and it was a great topic of conversation because we were looking at an ice storm in, in Oklahoma at the time, was the problems with ice and snow buildup on high tunnels. And so I was talking with a producer west of Oklahoma City about actions he could potentially take that would decrease the damages that he might see with ice buildup on his high tunnel. So again, these are some great things that we're gonna incorporate into our GrowCaster product as well. Finally, just understanding the unique construction challenges depending upon where you're at, understanding what your wind speeds are, your prevailing wind direction, you really need to think about that as you start to design your high tunnel because you may need some extra bracing. So again, we were just thinking about what can we do to better support our clients and Growcaster so that they can be more effective when they build their high tunnels to ensure that it's going to sustain whatever Mother Nature winds are going to bring for them. If you haven't checked out Growcaster, I encourage you to give it a try. We have a free trial period. And just go to weatherintegrations.com, and that's spelled W-X-I-N-T-E-G-R-A-T-I-O-N-S.com. Click on Growcaster, and you will find um, all the information you need there to sign up for your free trial. So we look forward to seeing you um, become one of our clients and getting your feedback. Thanks. Have a great day.